What's up everybody? I'm out here at Wakawa Springs State Park and we are going on a camping trip. But before we dive in, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and follow us on Facebook at Backyard Kayaking. What an awesome experience, but it didn't come without its own challenges. Facing an upstream battle to our campsite and racing the sun as we got a late start in the day, we were prepared for that. However, Rock Springs Run would throw another challenge at us that we didn't expect. here at Wakaiva State Park. It was kind of a last minute decision, but it's gonna be good, it's gonna be fun. Yeah, all right. Our journey this time would actually start earlier in the day. As it was a last minute trip, I had to scramble to get everything packed up, pick up the wife from work, then get out to Wakaiva Springs State Park. Offering everything from picnic areas, swimming, diving, canoe and kayak rentals, camping and hiking, park entry is only $2 a day per person or $5 a night for camping. After loading up our kayaks and launching from the canoe launch, we headed out towards our destination, Otter Camp. Located three miles from launch, taking a left off the Wagaiwa River and heading upstream at Rock Springs Run, it wasn't long before we had encountered our first major obstacle. We may have found something where we cannot pass. After having conquered the first of three portages, we felt confident that we would make it to camp before sundown. But our progress was slow, pushing our loaded kayaks upstream at about one mile an hour. After two hours of paddling, it was time to take a break and check our progress. So it's about six o'clock. We are about half a mile from our camp. So making decent progress, but paddling upstream kind of sucks. So we're looking forward to some hot dogs. And some tater salad. Tater salad. But otherwise, we're in pretty good spirits. And we needed this. This has been, it's been a little bit since we've been on an adventure. So, we needed this. Eventually, after a long, arduous upstream battle, our destination was finally within sight. We made it to camp. Otter camp. Check it out. And there's us. We found some trees to hang from. Yeah, all right. Anywho, paddleback's gonna be awesome, speedy. There's a couple trees down across the entire river, so a couple of portages, which weren't that bad. Trying to figure out one of them, though, was interesting. But we've already eaten, and it's time for bed because the sun is about to go down and be gone. So we'll catch this up in the morning. As we reflected on the day, we were grateful to be out here and we looked forward to what tomorrow had to offer. Good morning. I slept like a baby. That was awesome. The river looks pretty cool today. Check this out. Man, that looks nice. Gorgeous. And we're gonna make some coffee, have some breakfast, and be on our way. Best part of waking up Folders in your cup. Coffee. We leave camp now. Yeah, it's time to paddle back. Goodbye, Otter Camp. Goodbye.
It's always a bittersweet feeling. We enjoy our time at camp, eating, telling stories, and relaxing. The trip back wasn't so bad though, as it was all downstream, we could embrace the views around us, including all the wildlife. Even the three portages didn't seem to affect our mood. We had time today, and we were going to savor it. We cook, took a quick dip. Cook it? We took cook. a quick dip. Cook. We cook a quick dip. <sighs> cook it. <laughs> oh, by the way, babe, how's your hydro flask? It's broken. Oh. <laughs> nice save. Nice save. All right, so we just came back upon our biggest challenge yesterday. So, check this out. Because we cannot get underneath there. Got it? Yep. And now the fun begins for me. And we're over. And that is how you get around that. Good times, good times. While our trip grew to a close, I reveled in the natural beauty of our home state of Florida, and I am grateful for all the lessons each new trip brings us. So until next time, thanks for watching, happy paddling.